From above, it's a beachside paradise. But on the ground, something has gone seriously awry. Jalu Gurawiwi and his son Larry are known across the globe as masters of the Yidaki, or didgeridoo. They've played for royalty, shone on the big screen, and Jalu's design was even recently minted onto an Australian $1 coin. But in their own community of Birajimi, the musicians say their pleas for safer housing have gone unheard. Me and my, my family, we are, we, are, we are well known. Well known people and my father. And it's like, they don't care for us, you know. Their community of around 200 people, many from the same family, is just a stone's throw away from a now mothballed Rio Tinto alumina refinery. In its heyday, Birra Jimmy, or Wallaby Beach as it was then called, housed company management before it was returned to traditional owners in 2008. My brother, daughter, is, lives here. After Rio gave it back, the community found itself in a loophole outside of regional council or NT government service areas. And over the years, the houses, built in the 70s, deteriorated badly. This is my room, it's not, light is not working. This resident says she is regularly left without power and plumbing. Water leaking and a shower, toilet. I used to get up and clean up, the waters come out and go to my room. As the years drag on without a fix, the residents are worried about the impact these ageing asbestos-filled houses will have on their young children and the elderly. For a long time we've been worrying about for our future, you know. Uh, we don't want them to get sick from what, what this house has got, poison. Plans are afoot to find a solution for Birajimi, but it's one that not everyone is happy about. The Ririchingu Aboriginal Corporation has applied to the Commonwealth for $15 million to see the residents moved out of Birajimi and into houses nearby, some in the town of Nulanboy. But we don't want to live because we we on the you know on the sea that we are. Yeah. A spokesman for Federal Indigenous Australians Minister Ken Wyatt said the application was under consideration, with a decision expected late this year or early 2021. <coughs> Until then, these people will have to continue to wait and push for a better lot for their next generation. Matt Garrick, ABC News, Birrit Jimmy.